So there is a stock called, say, uh, uh, Reliance, uh, trading on the Indian exchanges. It trades on NSE, it trades on BSE. Sure, and that'll be great. So yeah, I mean, that is that has also been a missile, uh, I mean, a, a very hazy picture about how frequencies are defined. So yeah, if you could just throw some light on how the industry is defined, that would be great. Okay, so basically trading, any trading is basically you make a bet, uh, you make a viewpoint that uh, uh, I think uh, prices will either go up or go down. So if you feel prices will go up, you will buy. If you think prices go down, you sell. So that is trading. Mm -hmm. Now, high frequency trading is a subset of it where you either make the prediction for a very short duration or you find an opportunity which might not persist for a very long, uh, for long duration sometimes. So you have to be very quick and then they uh, responding to those opportunities. So just to give some indication as to the kind of scale that is involved. Yeah, so I believe that a lot of participants here are students and people who are looking for a career, so who are outside of this domain. So if, uh, if I ask, so uh, uh, what do you think is the volume of data that, that uh, the exchanges uh, uh, transmit on a daily basis, each exchange? So uh, any wild guess that people want to make? So this is on a daily basis. So so on a daily basis, yeah, you would get hundreds of gigabytes of the, uh, uh, information. So now to create a lot, a lot of answers are flowing in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you are current. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. So close to the terabytes. So some of you are current. So you know, you'd get hundreds of gigabytes of data. You have to process it. Uh, that information. Uh, so let, let, let me take a step back. So when I say you make a prediction, so you, you said that, hey, you know, making a prediction is not easy. How, how can you make a prediction? Well, let, let me break it down for you. So there is a stock called, say, uh, Reliance, uh, trading on the Indian exchanges. It trades on NSE, it trades on BSE. Plus, Reliance has futures which are listed on NSE and BSE. The Reliance has options listed on BSE and NSE, and then the futures, there are multiple futures with different expiration. So every time there is a news in Reliance, there is an event in Reliance, the stock prices, the, the prices would go up in one out of them. So there are around, there are 100 plus instruments which are linked to Reliance. So every time there is a news or event in Reliance, the price would move in, some one out of those hundred first, and then it will follow in the rest 90. Now there could be noises. So there could be price moves and then which are not linked to some news or event. And then therefore the other 99 will not follow. So if you can figure out by looking at the market data of you know, price changes in some of those instruments, whether this is broad based because of something in the underline or whether it is just uh, local movement because of uh, some um, someone wanting to buy or sell or close their position in an individual instrument. So you, if you can identify that, so you can then straight, uh, make, take point. So if you identify a big move in Reliance and then before the rest of the world, you can create positions in 100 other instruments. Uh, the move was signaled in one instrument and then you can make uh, build positions in 100 other instruments. And then that, that would be hugely profitable for you. So uh, if you identify the move in uh, throw instrument, well, uh, price moves in instrument one, and then you put the position in hundreds of other instruments. Now, to be able to identify that, remember you get hundreds of gigabytes of data per day, and then you, the microburst, uh, at the time of activity, the microburst is significant. So yeah, so the thing is, first you have to do a quant analysis to be able to say that, hey, if there is a certain price behavior in certain instrument, it indicates that there is a genuine move, and therefore we should buy in the rest of the 99 instruments. Now, to be able to make that hypothesis, you have to analyze a lot of historical information. So the amount of historical information goes, means, uh, monthly historical information is in tens of terabytes and then across years, it's huge. So therefore, one, uh, there is a lot of big data uh, involved to be able to identify the signals, uh, identify which, what uh, can be used to predict the move and what is a noise. So how to distinguish between noise and true prediction. And uh, that is the prediction part of it. But then you are competing with hundreds of other people who are doing the same thing. So if, if there is a genuine big move, 
100 people would have identified it. So you have to compete with all 100 of them to reach the action before the rest of them. So, uh, so therefore, uh, you you have to be really fast. So now, to be really fast, you have to actually incorporate the uh, the cutting edge concepts of multiple domains of programming called computer science. So be it networks, be it hardware, be it operating system, be it the, the way you are writing, uh, and, and so on. So that is like, and then even for research, uh, uh, the kind of databases and tools and so on that you have to use, uh, means this keeps upgrading at a very fast rate. So means, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you store say tens of terabytes every month. So now the kind of database tools that you require, that also becomes, uh, it, it's an engineering problem that you, you have to keep solving. And uh, to keep solving it, the, the kind of tools that you have to keep, uh, use. So what we use now was, probably, was actually not even very stable or properly released four years or five years ago. So these are the most cutting edge newest things that we, you have to keep using. Yeah, sorry. I, I think I kind of deviated from my original question. So... Uh, yeah, please go. No, no, I mean that was that was helpful. Basically, you you covered a couple of more points that I had in terms of the questions. So I think that is helpful. Thanks a lot.